OK, so let's say I want to find the equation of the line that goes through these two points, the vector equation that goes through those two points. OK, so first of all, I know that I need a position vector. OK, so we start with r equals, and the position vector is a point that is on the line. So if we draw in this line, OK, that goes through a and b, then we actually have two choices. We could either use a or we could use b, OK? It doesn't really matter. But we use the position vector of one of these two coordinates. So I'm going to use a, so 5, 7, 9. Now, you could equally use uh, minus 2, minus 3, 7 here. But I would generally use, um, if there's an a there in the question, I'd probably keep with a, OK? Plus some multiple of the direction vector of the line. Now, we can find the direction vector of the line by finding how to get from A to B, OK? So that will tell me in which direction to go. So to do that, I need OB minus OA. So minus 2, minus 3, 7, take away 5, 7, 9. So we actually have minus 7, minus 10, and minus 2. And that is the direction vector. Now, obviously, if, if lambda was 1, then what that would do is that would get me, so this equation would tell me how to get from the origin to A. And then if lambda was 1, that would then get me to straight to B. OK? Because 5, 7, 9 plus minus 7, minus 10 minus 2 will get me to b. So if lambda was a half, it would get me halfway along the line. It would get me to that point there. If lambda was 100, it would get me all the way along, a long, long, long way along that line. If lambda was minus 1, it would get me a point that is down here. OK? So that is how this equation works. And depending on the value of lambda, it tells you um, where you need to be along that line.